You're still with us on The Daily Dose, your morning glory right now on NRTV channel 288 on DSTV and it is 6.57. We just had a really interesting uh, comment section and now we have a guest in the building and we have Lennox, the photographer. He is not only a photographer but a poet and the co-founder of Harvest Exhibition. Uh, Lennox, welcome to The Daily Dose. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to be having you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, so how has been your journey as a poet and a photographer? Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I guess um, you're always trying to redefine uh, yourself mm -hmm. and to be able to express yourself the best way you can. And I think in that journey, there's so many things that happen because uh, a lot of people ask me why I do what I do, mm -hmm. but it's mainly just me trying to find a way to answer the questions of life. So in that journey, I find stops that I then express in the form of poetry and photography. Right. So you, because what's interesting <clears throat> to me is you're both a photographer and a poet. writer poet. Those are two very different functions, Absolutely. right? Because one, you have a good eye, but you also have a mind that functions really well. So tell us what the, how does that work to your advantage, the fact that you're good at these two distinct things? I don't think they're different. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Like I always tell people, I'm uh -huh. not, I don't like being boxed right. because I think I'm just a creator who uh -huh. sometimes expresses themselves uh -huh. in poetry and right. photography. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's like the stories just tell me what form they want to be expressed in. Okay. So for example, um, I have a poem called Playing Chess in Another World. Right. It's both a poem and a photograph. All right. So. Wow. It's just the story telling me that, oh, there are various ways you can tell people more about me and uh, there are different forms of me. Right. And um, truth be told, I'm a visual learner. Mm -hmm. I recently started trying to develop mm. my skills in terms of writing. Right. Not, not In terms of reading, not mm -hmm. writing. Right. I, I've always been writing, but mm -hmm. truly like full on, uh, I want to absorb something in right. the form of writing, mm. uh, I've always been a visual learner. Mm -hmm. So it's always been me trying to interpret my visual experiences into words. Mm. So it was easy to just then flip that over. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so tell us about, about uh, Harvest. The Harvest? Yeah. Mm. Okay, so the Harvest is a mixture of poetry and photography. Okay. The idea was to tell the story of the day-to-day -day person mm -hmm. who's harvesting. So uh, the idea is to talk about okay. you know, okay. Okay. it's about telling the stories of the day-to-day -day African person mm -hmm. who's trying to find their way through life. Right. So I brought together poets and photo uh, mm -hmm. photographers mm -hmm. to tell their story of how they experience being a day-to-day -day African. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have a book there with you, yes. sewing kit and building blocks. So take us through sewing kit and building blocks. What is it? It's a poetry collection, I believe? Yes. All right, but um, what does it cover? What's it about? I think, like I said, it's my journey through life. Right. It's, mm -hmm. it's me trying to decode my experiences mm -hmm. and um, how I, I, I figure out life. Right. I think that's what all artists are trying to do. Mm -hmm. They're mm -hmm. just trying to... They're just trying to understand what it feels like or just to understand why they're on earth and right. why they're doing what they're doing. Um, this is a form of survival. All right. Uh, I, I would like to believe. For me, it's not about... Um, it didn't start off as I want to do A, B, C, D. Right. I want to write a book. It just became a book okay. because you're writing every day, you're, ex you're explaining your experiences and people go like, oh dude, why don't you just like turn it into a collection? Okay. And uh, so it was just generally a collection of mm. my experiences. Right. Yeah. So you're saying that this is like you trying to find your why and you're trying to find your reason. Mm. Do you think you found it? Uh, no. Okay. No, I think, I think I understand more about myself right. and the world and people but I don't think I've truly come to say, okay, this is the direction that I want to take right. with life. So that's why I explore different okay. avenues right. and different things. I'm always experimenting with creatives and I'm always working with different uh -huh. creatives from painters mm -hmm. to uh, dancers, right. uh, singers, 
I'm always trying to communicate and just learn how to communicate better. Right. Okay. Now that you're here and you have the book with you, is there something <laughs> that you want to read for us? Yeah. Sure. Um, All right. What's your taste? What do you want? What do you want? Just surprise us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do I like? What did I really like? What really moved me? Let's see. Let's see. We were talking about adulting. Yeah. 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 We're talking about mm. like the stresses of being an adult and being responsible yeah. for yourself and all the okay. stuff that nobody likes. Our love okay. Valentine's is <laughs> yes. around the oh, corner. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, yes. Love. Give us love. Yes. Okay. We all need some love. Okay, okay. Um Can I be your pen? You be my paper. And let our love story be one big beautiful misunderstood love poem the world will envy. Can I touch you? Can I touch you till your body cannot tell the difference between reality and dreams? Can I kiss you till the only words you can utter is I love you? Can I pull you into the corridors of my thoughts and make love to you on the finest memories? Will you let me love you? Whilst I paint unseen images of you every day, I will. Yes, you will be my tiny slice of heaven and this life will be what royalty will feel like because you will be my queen and you will be my heaven on earth. I will call you my early Christmas present. Oh. I will hang your name in the happiest parts of my soul, decorate the room with your laughter and slow dance to your smile. Will you be a willing prisoner of my love? And I will shackle you to my heart. So no woman can steal you, can steal me away from you. I will shackle you to my every moment and play in the rain of our cloudy days and lick the joy from our sunny ways. Can you and will you let me love you until the end of time? Ah! Oh, no, no, I, I know it's important we don't clap, right? We do this. Oh, that is so <laughs> wow. that is so heartfelt. Thank you for that. Hey, Valentine's is coming. <laughs> if you're not writing anything like that, what are you doing with your life and what are you doing with your time? So Linux, thank you very much for your time. But one quick thing before 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 we let you go. Um, I mean you said that you're all about expression, but uh, photography or, or or poetry. If you had to pick one. I can't. No, you have to. I can't. They're they're both a part of me. I, I can't. <laughs> that is such a politically <laughs> correct answer. But that was Lennox and his book, Sewing Kit and Building Blocks, is out for those who are interested. And if you want the rest of what we just listened to, that was some beautiful poetry. You're still watching The Daily Dose. We're going to go for a very quick break.